And hello and welcome. This is the um, video walkthrough for lab number eight, which was the heads up display, the, um, the health bar and the damage system. So in the first video, what we did was we created the heads up display itself by creating a widget. So I'll need to see the widget and the, the heads up its display itself. So you have to double click on it and open it. Uh, you'll have to show me the progress bar and that the text bar is there, where the anchor points are, uh, for each one of those and then from there uh, switch over to the blueprint side and show me the code for the heads up display as far as how it's going to be able to do the math uh, to give us the percentage right uh, at that point too you'll probably also um, need to show me the uh, the first person character and where that code is as well but that will actually cover down here because you'll be opening uh, the first person player down there uh, but I would need to see um, that the current health and full health have been created for that uh, that the variables have been created for that uh, from there we have uh, pro um, the second video uh, in that one what we did was we actually applied the damage code to the first person player and we uh, applied um, so that the first person player can receive damage and that the enemy player would be able to give damage right so at that point we applied that to the stationary mine and um, so what I'll need you to do uh, again is to open up the stationary mine and show me uh, the code for applying damage to the character and then you'll have to open up the first person blueprint and show me where the code is for that uh, from uh, for accepting damage uh, from there the next thing that we did was we created a collision box uh, we named it FCP uh, box or collision uh, so then that way the mesh and the uh, the uh, the navigation box are not the navigation box the uh, collision box were separate and that each one of them had different uh, collision settings as well as what they're going to be overlapping with to be able to modify the code uh, so at that point I will need you to uh, uh, most of this was going to happen in the uh, uh, the stationary mine uh, so you'll need to open that you'll need to show me the collision box uh, the, the settings, the collision settings for both the box and, uh, and the mesh. And from there, you'll need to open up the event graph and uh, scan through that slowly. And we've seen that in other videos. Uh, from there, we'll need to push play and see that this enemy character, when you shoot it with the projectile, uh, doesn't cause... Uh, the uh, doesn't cause you damage and also when you walk into it you are still causing a damage so at that point that's where we talked about uh, how we were able to separate that and we did that by creating uh, additional um, additional object types and uh, so you'll need to open up that as well and show me uh, and show me the two well at least the one for the first person projectile uh, so then that way it's labeled differently than we are so it's not a pawn anymore uh, from there, uh, also open up the homing missile and show me that you've been able to apply the, the damage code to that and that it also has a collision box. So basically what we saw in the stationary mine, we'll see again with the homing missile. And we'll do this very similar to the way we did the, the last video or the lab seven, where you show me all the code stuff first, and then you'll show me, uh, the application of this inside the game, right? Uh, from there, the other enemy characters that we added this to were the projectiles. Uh, so that would have taken care of the, uh, the shooting enemy, uh, the shooting statue enemy and the roaming enemy and the rotating enemy. Uh, so we did not actually do a video where you have the statue enemy that the damage code has been applied to. Uh, but you could, uh, if you were able to follow along with the homing missile, uh, the statue enemy is going to, uh, you're basically going to do the same thing for it. So if you've got it, show it to me. If not, don't worry about it because it's not actually something that we did either in class. We never attached it in class, uh, to the, to the statue enemy. And I did, haven't done it in a video. So, um, but I think y'all should be able to figure out how to do that. Uh, anyways, from there, uh, the, the projectile, exactly the same thing. Show me the collision box uh, uh, around the projectile. Show me that the projectile that you have created the new um, uh, enemy projectile type, object type. 
uh, for the collision settings. And then uh, same thing, uh, open up the blueprint for, uh, for the projectile and scan through it so that I can see the damage code that's been applied and then push play and show me that that, that works. So first thing is we'll, sh we'll look at the code for everything. And then the second thing is we'll see everything applied. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up uh, Unreal. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let make sure I have the right one opened. So those are the ones that actually have the box around the outside. So I'm going to open up that. And I'm actually going to close some of these other ones. Okay, so all we have is the stationary mine right now. So I'm going to open up that one. I'm going to go to the homing missile one. I'm going to open up because that one also has the box going around the outside of it. And we'll open that guy up. Okay, uh, next thing that would have had the damage code that I would have applied to would have been the, uh, the, shoot, the rotating or not the statue enemy, but this enemy right here and the projectiles would be what would be causing us damage. So um, with this character, uh, look and see what projectile has actually been added to it. So in this case, this is the enemy projectile one. So I'll need to open up enemy projectile one. All right, so we'll be able to see the code there. If we've placed it in there, doesn't look like we have. Yeah, that doesn't look like an ammunition that is causing us damage. Um, let's see, so maybe not that one. Let's see what other one I may have placed it on. I need to see at least one of the projectiles and that way I know that you know how to do it. Um, let's try the rotating projectile. I do believe that one does have damage code in it and it does. Okay, so that's what I needed to see in your projectile. Uh, and it also has the collision settings. So we've got that one open and I believe uh, homing missile, stationary mine, and at least one of the projectiles so that I can see uh, what you're doing with it. <coughs> and that at least you've got it to work once. Okay, so with each one of these, I need to see the viewport first. Again, you can have all these windows already opened and ready, uh, so you don't have to do this as part of your video, and I would appreciate that because it would make the videos a lot shorter. Um, so we're gonna go to the stationary mine. I'm going to select the barrel or the mesh. I'm gonna scroll down to see what the collision settings are. Just hold it there for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to do the same thing with the capsule or the FP capsule, right? That's the first person collision box. Uh, same thing. Scroll over to where I can see the entire one. Uh, don't, don't have it like that. Uh, don't have it closed. Make sure that the whole thing is, you know, don't do this. Make sure that the whole thing is open and hold it there for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, from there, uh, go to the event graph. I want to see, uh, obviously, uh, this, uh, this one has uh, both collision settings, uh, one where it's uh, set up for the projectile and the other one which is set up for us. So I can see here clearly this is the first person collision. That's why I wanted you to name it that way. Uh, so start to scroll through it slowly. So then that way I can see how much damage you're applying, uh, that everything has been created the right way. Okay, so that is the first one. Then let's look at the one that's labeled barrel. Same thing, scroll across it slowly. Let me look and see how much, uh, the fact that it does not have the damage code attached to it. Okay, so that is the stationary mine. Same thing with the homing missile. Um, show me the viewport. Show me that the barrel is there. Scroll down until you see the collision settings. Hold it, one, two, three, four, five. You don't have to count, you can count in your head. Uh, I'm just doing that so that you can hear how much time is there. Uh, so first person collision uh, for the for the collision box that we set up for this character or pawn, uh, uh, what its settings are and five seconds and we're, we're good. From there, we're going to go into the event graph, scroll out so I can see that there's the first piece of code and the second one. 
the first one, well, doesn't have to be the first one that has the damage, but the one that is the FP collision, uh, again, scroll through it slowly. Let me see uh, what you've done with it. This one we did a range to damage amount. That was something that we did in class. Okay, and this is respawning. All right, then we'll look at the second one, which is gonna be for the barrel. So this is the one that needs to be um, for when we shoot it. We just want it to explode, but we don't want it to cause any damage. Okay, and then the second part of that. And it is also respawning. Okay, so that's what I need for the homing missile. Uh, from there, we'll go to the rotating, uh, to one of the projectiles, uh, go into the viewport. Let me see that uh, the, um, uh, let me zoom in slower. That there is indeed the sphere, that they have what's called the collision component. And then above that, the thing that is the most to the outside is the first person co uh, collision. With uh, FP collision selected, again, scroll down, show me the collision settings. Uh, I am very interested in that this says enemy projectile. Uh, since this happens to be an enemy projectile, hold this for five seconds. Um, and the next thing I'll need to do is see the event code or the event graph, zoom out. That's the only thing that's there. Zoom in, scroll through, uh, uh, scan through it slowly. FP collision, FP collision, and that's what's, that's the only thing that's going to cause the damage code and how much damage you're applying per, per time being shot. All right, so that's what I need for the blueprint. From there, we're going to go in and see each one of these things work. Push play. Okay, so it's obviously the... Uh, rotating ball that I need to see that is causing damage because that's the code that has or that's the ball that has the code in it uh, from there make sure that you have enough of this left over um, what else do we have oh the exploding mines right and the home missiles. okay so the stationary mine what I'm most interested in is that you can shoot it and it doesn't cause you any damage but if you walk into them, it does cause you damage. I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape because I've already lost all my health. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of that guy. So he's not there shooting us. Push play. So again, uh, let's go over here to the homing missile since we added it to the Uh-oh. Well, it does do that. Let's see if it respawns, hits me, does that. Okay, so if there's a problem like I just ran into, uh, you may want to fix the problem and then restart the video uh, or redo your video. Um, I think it'd be faster than trying to edit out the mistake or something like that, but definitely that you would need to make sure that all your things are working. So I'm actually kind of glad that that one didn't work. Uh, so then that way uh, we can see that uh, if something is not working, what to do about it. And I believe that that is going to be this. Uh, see, both of those are being blocked. So they're not being ignored. So they're not going through because of the default uh, for that. So let's go ahead and hit compile and save. So once I created those, I didn't actually go back and uh, fix them. So it's actually good that we got it here. Let's just go ahead and push play. So, ah, uh, still blocking, huh? Let's see, homing missile, first person, all that stuff's over there. It's gonna overlap with pawn and it should ignore everything else. So that means now that my, my projectile must be blocking it. So I'm going to go to first person BP. We're going to go to blueprints. We're going to go to my projectile. I'm going to select the collision component. I'm going to scroll down here and yes, it's blocking everything. So I'm going to have it ignore those. So it'll be able to go through. So let's hit compile and save and see that that works.
If I had better aim. Okay, so it's still blocking me. So collision sphere. This thing is labeled as an FCP or an FP projectile. It is blocking everything. Oh, so it's probably also blocking the world static. Uh, we don't want them to block. Let's do that. This is probably happening because those things are... Let's see, this is an FP projectile. Okay, let's try. What I'm doing right now should not be in your video. Yay, I got it to blow up. Okay. Wait for it to respawn. And hit. Okay, good. And it did cause me damage, so um, so now I can see that both things have happened right. That uh, I can shoot a projectile at something and it doesn't cause me damage. But if I walk into it, it will cause me damage. And that has to do with those um, first-person collision boxes or the collision boxes that we set up. And Oh, the other thing you can also show me is go into your settings and go into uh, project settings go to collision and and theoretically these should already be here so if you want to show it to me this way you can but that both of them are there and what their default values are and those default values were what got me in trouble just a second ago with this projectile not working so it's good that it happened to me don't let that happen to you because that turns a 10 minute video into a 20 minute video and if i have to do that i'm going to skip through and if i have to do that then you may miss something or I may miss something because I'm not going to sit there and watch you figure it out. Um, so anyways, I uh, hope that video helps and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.